Hey y'all, what's going on? Welcome to day five of our at home body weight program. It's Natalie Higby here. <clears throat> and Tristan Placencia. Thank you guys for joining us. Let's get right into our warm up, okay? We do have another full body workout today, so we're gonna warm up the whole body here. We are actually going to start with our basketball or our tool or our imagination today. So go ahead and find your space, grab your basketball if you have one. We're going to start with some overhead squats. Now we'll be working for about 40 seconds. So let's go into that squat position. Let's drive the ball overhead as we push ourselves down into that squat. Beautiful job. Now you can see Christian's trying to keep his eyes out in front of him or up. The tendency is going to be for your chest to fall forward and you might find it really difficult to reach your arms overhead just depending on your shoulder mobility. So just give it your best shot, okay? Don't force yourself into a position. Just try to ease into it, hopefully finding a little more space as we go. Good, let's move for another five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. We're going into our lateral lunges next. So we're stepping right to left, give him some space. So again, you're going to step to the side and then bring the ball in. And we're punching the ball away with each step, keeping the upper body nice and strong. Again, we've got 40 seconds here. Continue to move. Awesome. So again, we step, we sink to one side, and then we switch it up. Maybe getting a nice stretch on the inside of that straight leg. Still trying to keep the eyes forward and in front of you. Nicely done. Can you reach it overhead? A little extra challenge. Woohoo! Going back to that overhead reach. If that's not feeling good for you, don't worry. Go right back to just that forward punch. Either one is okay. Let's stay moving. Beautiful job. Almost there. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Nicely done. Good work. Next up, we are challenging the single leg hinge with a rotation once again. This one is tricky, so it takes practice, okay? Working on our single leg balance. We're going to kick one leg back to get into this hinge position. From there, we're rotating slightly to the right and the left. Woo, come back to the center and stand tall. We've got 20 seconds on each leg here. So continue to move, continue to breathe. You're gonna have to keep your body nice and tight. The more you can create tension in your body, the easier it will be to balance. And don't forget that whatever foot is planted, we've got a soft bend in that knee. Almost there, three, two, one and other side. Here we go, 20 seconds on the opposite side. Now, as we hinge back, the toes face the ground, but as we rotate, it's okay on this one because we're intentionally practicing the rotation for your toes and your hips to shift to the side. Nicely done. Try to keep that spine long, proud chest, almost there. Three, two, one. Good work, good work. Now we're going to practice our single leg squat, okay? So on this one, we're going to find a little more single leg balance. We're squatting. Now, it's not going to be as low as your normal squat. That's okay. I want you guys to start moving. Let's pay attention to a couple things. One, the foot stays flat, but you'll see the angle of Christian's knee slightly changes as his foot kicks back and as his foot kicks forward. Woo keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. One, good, 20 seconds on the other side. This one really challenges that ankle mobility, strengthens each leg independently of the other one. Woo, good job. Continue to breathe, continue to move. And don't worry about how low you are going. Just control between the foot forward and the foot back. Good, almost there. Three, two, one. Awesome job, y'all, good work, beautiful. Now we're going into our Frankenstein kicks next, okay? We've got 30 seconds here, going in three, two, one. Now again, we're rotating the torso today. So I want you to actually look to the left and the right. Just getting that upper body a little bit more engaged on these Frankenstein kicks. Again, 30 seconds, we're about halfway. You know, a long time ago, I wasn't actually able to even touch my toes when I did these. Mm -hmm. Same. <laughs> I remember when I was playing basketball a lot, especially when I was younger, I could not touch my toes. No, it was so hard. I'd have to bend my leg like this. So if you're there, don't worry. Continue to go through these workouts. To continue to practice this move. I promise over time, it'll get better. Relax. Good job. We've got our butt kicks next. 30 seconds. Go in here in three, two, one. Go, go. Yeah. Definitely have gotten more flexible as I have gotten older. So yeah. it's just come with practice though and intention. Some people are naturally flexible and mobile when they're young. 
Yep. Either way, these workouts are going to help you not only become more flexible, but more strong in those ranges. Mm -hmm. So improving that mobility. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Shake that out. High knees are next. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go in here. In three, two, one. Here we go. Again, 30 seconds of work. If you're feeling good, you got the juice today, maybe try to speed it up a little bit. Think fast feet. If you need to slow it down and come right here, maybe even just pulling your knee to your chest, that's perfectly okay as well. Good job. Keep going. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Take a moment. Breathe for a second. Next up, we're going into our standing hip rotations. So this is actually going to challenge you a little bit more now that our heart rate is up. So we're going to find our single leg stability. Again, maybe hold on to something if needed. Your leg is going to come forward, out to the side, and back behind. Let's continue to go through that. We've got five reps on each leg. So that's two right there. Breathe. Come up. Out. Rotate. Kick, kick, kick. Good. Three. We were talking about hamstring flexibility, right? And this is definitely something that will help people out with that. Yes. This one is still challenging for me to get my leg up there, um, but it's gotten better. So again, just I'm gonna use the practice and patience. That's scary. So again, like Natalie said, if you're feeling a little tight and hard to keep your balance, then just use the wall, use the desk. You have one side that's tighter than the other. Do you? Uh, do I? Yeah. Um, yeah, I would say I do. Yeah. Again, perfectly normal, so you might feel a little more comfortable on one side than you do on the other. Again, we have uh -huh. five reps on each side. Again, just slow and steady. Be really intentional on these. Don't try to rush through them. <sighs> Nicely Perfect. done. Beautiful. We're going to go with our T-spine reaches. So we're going down to the ground, find a little bit of space. This is the one where we reach through, and then we reach up towards the ceiling. Beautiful job. Continue to move like so with Christian. Let's go five times on each side today. And see Christian staying on the same side. You could stay on the same side for all five and then switch, or you could alternate. Totally up to you guys again. Continue to move here with Christian's pace. He just switched up sides. Nicely done. Again, we've got five reps on each side. I like to make sure that I'm inhaling in one direction and exhaling in the other. Beautiful. Again, spine stays long. Using the ground for a little more feedback, so really pressing into the floor. Excellent job, y'all. Let's stay right here for our cat cows, okay? So again, dropping the belly, looking up towards the ceiling, and then rounding out that spine, pressing into the floor, and moving through our cat cow position with our breath. We are just going to grab about five reps here, nice and slow. And then I want you to pause on your fifth rep. So let me know when you get there, Christian. One more. Awesome. That's five right there. Mm -hmm. Now, continue to press into the floor. Open up these shoulder blades right here, and then just shift your hips and your shoulders side to side. So stay rounded, tuck your chin to your chest, just move your body right to left. Again, just kind of checking in with your tight areas for today. We'll do this for another three, two, one. Awesome job. Let's stand on up and shake that off. We're going to go with our big global hip circles next. So feet underneath the hips here, soft bend in the knees. We're pushing our hips out and around. Now, if you've got a really tight spot, like right here is feeling really, really tight today, maybe pause there, take a breath, and then move on through. For me, my hamstrings are usually tight, so I like to pause here at the back and try to lift just a little bit higher, but keeping that bend in my knees. If you're feeling good, continue to move through this. We like to say at least three to five on each side. Awesome job. And then the extra credit points here is as you come forward, really squeezing your glutes, driving those hips forward to get that extra stretch here on the front side of your hips, down through your quads. Feeling good? <coughs> Feel great. Awesome job. Cool. Yep. Cool. So guys, again, that was the warm-up, always important. Now we're going to get into the skill, or today is going to be a little bit more of a game of the day, okay? Mm -hmm. So me and Nat will go at the same time, so if you have a partner, everybody will do this at the same time. We have an elbow plank. Right? So I'm going to show you real quick what that looks like. I'm on my elbows, on my hands, and my toes are on the ground. If this is really hard for you, then just go onto your knees and you can just hold here from your knees. Now, what we're going to do here though, from our plank position, is that we're going to pick up one hand and our opposite foot, and we're going to hold here. 
Okay, now on that one side that we hold for, here's how this becomes a game. If we can hold that for 30 seconds, that's at a rookie level. Mm -hmm. That's great. If we can hold for 45 seconds, that's an all-star. If we can hold for 60 seconds on one side only, then we're working at the MVP level. And if you can do that for both sides, man, you're working. And we love that type of attitude and we love that level of effort. So mm -hmm. we're going to go out down here to the ground, okay? And again, we're a little fatigued. We're a little tired. We actually hit a workout here this morning before this. So if one of us isn't able to hold it for 30 seconds, then that's okay. We're going to listen to our body and we're going to say, you know what? We don't have the juice here. I'm going to come down and take a rest. But we want to challenge you guys. Get a timer. Find out how long you're able to hold this. And when we give this to you guys again, because we will in the yes. future, we want to just see if we're getting better. And that's what it's all about. Okay? Cool. Let's come down here to the ground. I'm going to start my timer here in five, four, three, two, one. Opposite hand, opposite foot, and we'll hold. And again, even if the opposite hand, opposite foot is really hard, Nat will show you that she can just put her hand down and she can just keep one leg off. Or even if that gets really challenging, Natalie can put both feet down, both hands down, and just hold there. Whatever you guys feel is necessary. That was about 20 seconds on one side. Continue to breathe. Nice job. Keep moving. Almost there. That is 30 seconds right there, guys. 30 seconds. Continue to breathe. Ooh. I'm already starting to shake. I'm starting to get a little fatigued. I'm starting to get a little tired. I'm going to try to get to 45. Three, two, one. One, and I'm going to take a second to rest. Now, if you're going still, keep going. I'll let you know. If you're trying to get to a minute, you have 10 more seconds. If not, just it. shake it off. Almost there, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. If you made it to this point, you made it to 60 seconds. Everybody shake it off. Let's get our next side now, right? We got to do the same deal next side. All right. Three, two, one, and here we go. Opposite hand, opposite foot, if we can. If not, we just hold with two hands. And if not, we can go down with both feet and both hands. It all depends where you're at today, guys. 10 seconds down. Breathe. Keep pressing the ground away with your hand. Keep breathing. Nice job. Almost there. Also come down to your knees if need be. You can continue to stay nice and tight though. 30 seconds, guys. 30 seconds down. Here we go. Again, we're going to try to get, I'm going to try to get to 45. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. That's 45 right there. If you're growing for 60, keep going. Keep breathing. Great job, Natalie. Awesome work. About less than 10 seconds if you're trying to get to 60 seconds here. Almost there. Five, four, three, nice job. two. Awesome work, everybody. Again, shake that off. That was awesome. And again, more of a skill of the day, a game of the day. Make sure that you're becoming aware of maybe how long you were holding that for. Because as we continue to progress, we just want to maybe get one second better every single time. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, here's what we got, guys. Three rounds today of a circuit. Okay? Everyone will do the same movements, and we're just going to go for time. So don't worry about trying to get to a certain amount of reps. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to all start together. 35 seconds of work. The first thing we have is an overhead squat. Sound good? Three, two, one. 35 seconds. Here we go. Similar to what we did in the warm-up with the basketball. Mm -hmm. And if you have a basketball, you could still grab the basketball and add it into the workout. 100%. That works. 100 percent Just like Natalie had said, we can always go and grab the ball and just do it with the ball. 15 seconds left, yo. Almost there. And three, two, one. Awesome. Now we'll go down to the ground. We're going to be on our elbows again. And guess what, guys? We're going to get into our Superman planks. What does that look like? I'm going to plank, opposite hand, opposite foot, opposite hand, opposite foot. Okay? Three, two, one. And go ahead now, Natalie. Can you show them what they could do if this gets really challenging? How could they do this movement? Do they also go on their knees? 100%. You could come to a low plank here and hold, okay? You could also come to your knees and you can still try to lift opposite limb. So whatever you need to do to modify and make it challenging but doable for you today, it's perfectly okay. 
Again, it might be hard for you guys to see, but Natalie right now is on her knees, okay? There's nothing wrong with doing it from your knees. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, guys. Now, standing up tall, we're gonna do 17 seconds on one leg, and then 17 on the next. So what this one looks like here, is I go back leg, or back leg off the ground behind me, squat in front of me. Squat with my leg behind, Squat with my leg in front, and let's go guys. 17 seconds here on one side. If I ever need to, I can put my heel down on the ground to catch my balance. If not, try to only use one leg here. Almost there guys, three, two, one. Awesome work, next side, here we go. Again, squat back, in front, behind, in front. Behind, almost there guys, in front, keep breathing guys, behind, in front, almost there, five, four, three, two, and one. Guys, last movement we have on the ground here, my fingertips will face the sides, we're going to bring our hips up, and then from here, bring one leg off the ground. Now, let's go here for 35 seconds, if that is tough for you, then just bring the hips up with both feet flat. Okay, let's keep working though, let's go. 35 seconds here. Continue to breathe. This is our last movement. And then we're gonna go through this circuit two more times. So it's super important guys, keep your breath up and keep your mind in the game here, okay? Keep those hips up high. Less than 10 seconds, here we go guys. I keep driving down with my one foot on the ground, three, Two, one, and then bring the hips down. We'll shake that off. Guys, we got about 15 seconds. Then we go into our next round here, okay? Oh. Round two, overhead reach with the squats. I'm gonna take my ball, and I'm gonna use the ball on this one, okay? Five, four, three, two, one, and here we go, guys. 35 seconds with this one moving here. Beautiful. You can hear me and Natalie breathing. You might also notice that Natalie has the most beautiful shirt ever on with the most beautiful team I've ever seen before. And of course, I'm biased. I'm from California. If you didn't know, I'm a huge Laker fan. So it kind of hurts me just to have this shirt on. But <laughs> I find joy in it. Yeah, she I'm does. I'm looking for the Mavs shirt, though. I'm from Dallas, so Four, I'm a big Mavericks fan. Three, two, one. Awesome, guys. On the ground are Superman elbow planks here in five four three two one again you can go from your knees and you can lift from here or just go on your hands and toes and if you're on your knees um, our tile floor does not feel the best so again if you have like a yoga mat a blanket a pillow that would be helpful or you can just come to a little plank right here yep keep breathing y'all we're more than halfway through. Nice more than man. halfway through it. Yeah, so he's a Lakers fan. I'm a Mavs fan, but we wanted to wear the rival shirts today. Yep. So we managed to put him in a Celtic shirt. Mm -hmm. Four, <laughs> three, two, one. Perfect, everybody. Almost there. And of course, to all my Celtics fans out there, <laughs> no hate. I love you guys still, regardless of what team you root for, okay? One leg. Squat behind, squat in front. Three, two, one, and here we go. And you guys can see, I'm just using the table just to show you that it's perfectly okay, again, to modify and to try to just challenge a single leg, but with a little bit of help from an object right here that's just helping me stay tall, mm -hmm. stay in control. Three, two, one. Next side, guys, here we go, y'all. You start to feel confident with that, you can take that hand away. So again, now that I've got the motion down, I'm going to challenge myself by not using the desk. Great job, Nat. Ooh. Woo. Five. Almost there, guys. Four. Three. Two. One. Awesome work, everybody. Last thing we have on the ground here, finishing up round two, fingertips hit the sides, okay? Three. Two. One, we'll bring our hips up. Remember, we're either alternating our legs or, like Natalie's doing, she's driving her hips with two feet on the ground all the way up. 
and then all the way on down. Nice job. Continue to breathe, guys. Again, we have one more round right after this. There you go, Nat. Doing great, girl. Mm -hmm, you too. Good job, you guys. Keep it up. Stay strong. About 10 seconds, y'all. Nice. Last five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful work, guys. Everybody shake that off. Let's come on up. We got one more round just like that, guys. Let's see what we got, okay? Awesome work, Natalie. Our overhead reaching squats in three, two, one. And guys, we're always telling you guys, always reassuring you, take a break whenever you need to. If this is a little too intense, your heart rate's getting up, then by all means, pause the video, grab some water, towel up, take a second to yourself. When me and Natalie first started doing these workouts and these movements, they were very challenging for us. So we needed to take a rest. We had to take a break to get to the point where we're at today to where we can do a full workout without maybe taking a break. That took time, that took reps, and most importantly, it took consistency. Mm -hmm. Five, four, three, two, one. Great job, everybody. On the ground, last time, our rotating Superman elbow planks or just on your knees and holding a plank. Three, two, one, and here we go. Nice. Good work. Oh yeah, challenging. Really challenging. Love that. I love what Christian said about finding your own pace, taking your breaks when you need to. Of course, there are gonna be those people who maybe want a little bit more. Again, we're all at different levels, so just adjust as needed. Pause, take a break, add in a round. That's up to you. But again, just listen to your body. Understand 100%. its cues. Almost there, guys. 10 seconds. Nice shot. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome work, everybody. Awesome job. Next thing we got, single leg rocker squat. Okay, forward and back in five, four, three, two, one, and here we go. Also makes me think about how it's important as you go through this, to talk about quality a lot. But again, I know that both of us value quality over quantity, mm -hmm. right? So again, it's about the intention that you work with. And so keep that in mind as you go through this. Again, quality reps, lots of intention behind what you do. Halfway, guys, halfway through. Let's get that next side here. Here we go, guys. We're doing great. Not only is this workout almost done, but again, this green shirt is coming right off. And again, I love all my Celtics fans out there. Whew. I just like to get a little competitive, especially when I see Natalie next to me. Time, guys. And with that yellow and purple shirt on. I love it. Whew. Okay. Last time for the day right here, Natalie. All right. We have our single leg mobile tabletops here. Or with two feet. Three. Two, one, and here we go. We would love to know if you guys have a favorite team, favorite mm -hmm. player. You know, go ahead and share that out. It'd be fun to get to know you guys a little bit better. 100%. Maybe next time you guys are working out, maybe you put that t-shirt on, <laughs> and maybe you take a quick video of you doing this workout with us, right? Because again, for us, we're doing this for every single person that is able to watch this video. We're all about community. Mm -hmm. We want to help people not only move better, but feel better and think better. Five, four, three, two, one. Whoo! Great job, Natalie. Good work. Good work. Great job, everybody watching at home. Now, again, we're not done yet. Anytime we finish up the workout, we're always going to get into some decompression, and Natalie will leave you with our journal prompt of the day. Perfect. So. Let's stay on the ground today to start this decompression. We're gonna come right here, just seated with our legs extended. We'll take our right leg, cross it over our left, turn this way, place our right hand behind our body, take this left arm, just right up to this right knee. And now in this position, rather than falling forward here, rounding forward with my shoulders, 
I want to push into the floor, pull my shoulders back, keep a nice proud chest as I rotate. Let's stay here for three inhales, three exhales, nice and slow. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. Two more times. Last one. Awesome, now let's switch up sides, extend that right leg, bring the left leg across. We'll rotate in the opposite direction. Take a second, again, adjust yourself to where we can get a nice proud chest here. Three inhales, three exhales, trying to find a little more space, a little more rotation with each exhale. Inhale. Good, two. Last time, y'all. Awesome job. Let's stand on up. We're going to go into a couple standing spinal rolls. So from here, we're going to lift our chin up towards the sky, up towards the ceiling, and then tuck our chin to our chest, roll our shoulders forward. We're just going to go into a forward fold. Now at the bottom, I want you to keep a soft bend in your knees, grab opposite elbows, let your head hang heavy, and let's just sway right to left. Again, nice slow breaths. And then let's come back to the center. Extend the arms long so the fingers next to the floor. Let's keep our head tucked as we push our knees forward, push our hips forward, roll and round on up. And we're gonna do this one more time. Last one of the day. Let's tuck and roll. Again, coming into this forward fold, grabbing opposite elbows, swaying side to side for just a moment, maybe, maybe pedaling out the legs a little bit here. Extending the arms long, and then slowly pushing the knees forward, pushing the hips forward, rolling and rounding on up. Awesome job, you guys. Now, <laughs> give yourself a little pat on the back, high five, fist bump, grab your water. Excellent job today. We hope you are feeling challenged, feeling good after that workout. We want to leave you with our journal prompt for the day. And today is all about thinking about adversity. So when maybe something challenging or hard happens to us in our lives. We want you guys to think about and write about the benefits to adversity. So although something might come across as negative, what are the benefits and what are the positives that we can find in those challenging times? Thank you guys so much for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow.